Um, okay, I hope you enjoy this one. Would you rather eat a meal of cow tongue or octopus? I've just got busted year 3000 in my head. Um, <laughs> what would you rather? First of all, th- this question would be better suited if you said, would I rather eat cow tongue or vegetables? Because the answer would be so easy. Or if fruit, cow- or, fruit or vegetables. 100%. Do you know when you see all these tasks? I know I'm celebrity in that. Yeah. I would, if you offered me, I don't know, a kangaroo's penis or a Greek salad, give me that dick. That's all I'm saying. It's the first time I'll have said say that sentence in my life. But in that situation, I can't do a salad. What I can't is do it fruit about or vegetables. vegetables that I don't you... know. <laughs> People have been asking me this for 25 years. Now I've died Does it make you physically age. sick? Does it make you want to throw up? The moment, quote me on this, go on, snip this for any of you technological people out there. The moment it goes in my mouth, I feel sick. I honestly feel like being sick. Or just... I told you for a couple of years <laughs> when I was in a relationship before. You lied. I went a big year liar. To I hated them. I honestly hated them. But I didn't say anything for over a year. And then I just kind of went, I hate these. <laughs> oh God, things that you do. Um, I can't believe it. Veg- vegetables is just come on. I, I, I'm fruit as well. It's it's like you're just taking the best food sources for humans. Just you wouldn't believe it if you met me. I don't. I don't know what kind of damage it's going to do long term. I think you need to start. Piss off. Maybe put a peg on your nose and that's, just force it down. Oh, great. So we're about 10 episodes into the podcast and already you're uh, casting doubt over my, well, my health in the future, rather. It's just so, you don't eat fruit. Either, great. Do you? That's a bit worrying. No, I hate both. I hate both. Apples, oranges, strawberries. Just naming fruits now. This is what everyone does. The moment anyone finds out I don't eat fruit, they go, oh, oranges? Surely you like strawberries, Dad. No, listen, I don't like fruit. They're a fruit, aren't they? I don't like What them. about drinks so you wouldn't have orange juice, for example? Yeah, but a majority of the problems with the foods that I don't eat is texture. Mm. Drinks I don't have that problem with. I can't have uh, orange juice if it's, what's the word? Um, Dan concentrate. I mean... Uh, yeah, I did that. It's a bit, bit, of, bit of a pun for you guys. <laughs> There you go. But uh, <laughs> um, what about fr- ice drinks? I'm flavored. I can't do smoothies, smoothies. By the way, like you could have no, because then you're actually getting cream or something. You got me thinking about vanilla ice cream. Now that's how my mind works. You, you have to have vanilla all the time and things. I guess. No, not all the time. Oh. Don't say that. That's what everyone does. You're a horrible person. You oh, make I'm, it I'm quite interested in this. I, I do get some people don't like vegetables but they'll have some or they won't eat any Tell you what, or vice I'm or they don't like up. fruits but I've never I'm gonna hit a food expert up someone who's uh, an expert in food or psychology now I know that's a very niche market food and psychology but I need to get someone in to find this out because I don't know why it is I honestly don't know has it always been but, the case since childhood yeah honestly my dad had literally least stubborn person of all time my dad he'd literally go all right so you go have something healthy for dinner nah and then do you know some parents would literally go well i've cooked it now you're eating it he'd literally go all right then because as i said i'm from a broken family so we're going home he'd go i'll get you a mcdonald's on the way home then and then there'd be an argument when uh all the members of staff forgets to take off the <laughs> forgets to make it a plain cheese but <laughs> oh. I'll never forget but, when you got nervous that one time. Um, we went to McDonald's, didn't we? And you did, and you you prefer using the I machines remember. because you didn't want to go up to the counter because you get nervous <laughs> about your order because you always ask them to minus this, minus that. Um, oh, so you have like a yeah. completely different, unique burger that you <laughs> end up making. Yeah. Oh, I'll never forget yeah. that was really funny. So self kind of check out self service. It's been a wonderful mm. thing for you, hasn't it? 
Oh, get definitely. rid of any vegetables or anything out of your... It's the order that I do at McDonald's. Well, I haven't done for a while. I've just been months now there at McDonald's. Mm. Um, see, um, middle class problems. Uh, but um, you imagine the order that I type in whenever I go to McDonald's. You imagine if I ask for a person to specify that order, I would be kicked out. They, they'd honestly just swear at how me. How do you have your burger again? What burger did you have and how did you have it? can't remember what <sighs> one it was. So I'll have, take note, because I enjoy this. So maybe you guys will too. Yeah, but this is going to play into the hands of the stereotype that I'm just, ah, oh, Dan, you're just a white guy who enjoys everything plain. You don't enjoy this job. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. But, um, all right, so. Plain double cheeseburger, so no salad. No, that's one of the first things someone asks as well. If ever I go into a shop and say plain double cheeseburger or something like that, they'll go, uh, no salad. All right, are you sure you don't want any sauce? I said plain, didn't I? I said plain, don't make me repeat it. I'm already insecure at this point. Don't make me do that. Um, no salad, no sauce, no your pickles, no your relish or whatever that crap is. And, um, then uh, I add a cheese slice because, you know, oh, I'm definitely playing to a stereotype. Just end this here. Just end it. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> the more I talk, the more. <laughs> God, I hate this. Anyone, that, anyone that's listening. He's being with the extra cheese in me. his burger. Go on. It's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, God, I've already played into you. Fuck it, I'll have nuggets. I'll have nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a happy meal. So but, uh, you just have extra cheese yeah. and that's it. So it's just the burger patty plus an extra layer of cheese. Do you know when people laugh and ju- this always gets mixed up. As this, Someone always gives me. I don't know if the staff are really lazy at McDonald's or something. If you're listening, you work in McDonald's. If someone says no salad or wants a plane, please do them the owe them that respect. You, they've given you their hard-earned money, and I work hard for my money. As said at the start of the show, I know I'm a bowler, but that's not the point. Please just take the bloody salad off. That's all I'm saying. Especially the pickles. Come on, because I know all of you are sitting there at home screaming at your phone saying, "Dan, scrape it off." That's what everyone shouts. That's what everyone. I had a bloody cheeseburger. If I scrape that off, the cheese is coming up as well. What's the point? What is the point? <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like your burger, but I think the rest of it's been more entertaining. It started off on octopus or keratin, didn't it? Yeah, Forget I, I love a keratin. I love a keratin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. A keratin, because it's probably in a Rustler's burger anyway. I've already had it, mate. Actually, it's probably an octopus in a Rustler's burger. Well, there yeah. you go. But we learnt a lot more than your love of cow tongue, so...